Good day learners! Today, we will talk about basic electricity. We've been using electricity every day, but what exactly is electricity? An electricity is an interaction or flow of electric charges, protons with positive charge and electrons with negative charge. Just like on magnets, we know that like charges repel and unlike charges attract. Now, let's talk about current, symbolized by capital letter I. Standard unit is ampere. It is a measure of the number of electrical charges that flows past a given point per unit of time. It is measured using the device called ammeter. The unit for current was named after André-Marie Ampere, a French physicist who made contributions to electricity and magnetism. Next is the voltage, symbolized by capital letter V. Standard unit is volts. So what does the word voltage mean? It is the amount of energy associated with electric charge as it moves around in a circuit. It is measured using the device called voltmeter. The unit for voltage was named after Alessandro Volta, invented the voltaic pile, the forerunner of dry cell. Third is the resistance, symbolized by capital letter R. Standard unit is ohms. So what is resistance? It is a measure of the opposition to current flow in an electrical circuit. It is measured using the device called ohm meter. The unit for resistance was named after George Simon Ohm, a German physicist who formulated the Ohm's law or the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. Now, let's try to solve these sample problems. First, calculate for the value of current in a circuit with 20 volts and a resistance of 5 ohms. So, the givens are 20 volts and 5 ohms. Unknown is the current. Formula for current is I is equal to voltage divided by resistance. Solution I is equal to 20 volts divided by 5 ohms. So the answer is 4 ampere. Next problem. A device has a resistance of 2 ohms and a current of 15 ampere. Compute for its voltage. So the givens are 2 ohms and 15 ampere. Unknown is the voltage, so the formula is V is equal to current times resistance. V is equal to 15 ampere times 2 ohms. So the answer is 30 volts. Another one. How much is the resistance of a device with 20 ampere current and a voltage of 60 volts? The given values are 20 ampere and 60 volts. Unknown here is resistance. So the formula is R is equal to voltage divided by current. So the voltage is 60 divided by 20 ampere. The correct answer is 3 ohms. That is our resistance. In electricity, we have the terms conductors and insulators. Conductors are materials that allow an electric current to flow through them easily, while insulators are materials that resist the flow of electric current. Examples for conductors are metals like the copper wire. Examples for insulators are rubber balloon, rubber tire, diamond, and many more. Now, Let's talk about circuits. So what is an electric circuit? A circuit is a complete path through which electric current 
flows. It always flows from positive to negative ends of the circuit. There are two types of circuits. We have series circuit and parallel circuit. So what is the difference between the two? Series circuits involve connecting the loads in a line or series, allowing the current to flow from one load to the next in a single path. On the other hand, in parallel circuits, the loads divide the current amount of the different devices, creating a parallel connection. It involves two or more paths for the current to flow in a parallel circuit. The total voltage in a series circuit is equal to the sum of all the voltages across each load, while in a parallel circuit, the total voltage is the same anywhere across two points in the circuit. The total current for a series circuit is the same as the current in individual load, while in a parallel circuit, it is equal to the sum of all the current in individual loads. The total resistance for a series circuit increases with increasing load, while on the parallel circuit, the total resistance decreases with increasing load. Another major difference between series and parallel circuit is its features. In series circuit, if one component burns, current becomes inactive. But in parallel circuit, if one component burns, current stops only through that branch. Rest part works fine. This is the reason why parallel connection is widely used than series connection. Now let's talk about short circuit. This happens when the exposed parts of the electrical wires touch one another. Path of the current is shortened, and this may cause fire. Another one is overload. When the current in the circuit exceeds the wire's current rating, an overload happens. So let's avoid plugging in many devices all at once. Octopus wiring may happen when there are too many appliances plugged into one outlet and this may also cause fire. There are safety precautions that we need to follow when working with electricity. Number one, never touch or try repairing any electrical equipment or circuits with wet hands. It increases the conductivity of electric current. Second, never use equipment with damaged insulation or broken plugs. Third, if you are working on any electrical socket at your home, then always turn off the mains. And finally, always use insulated tools while working. Never use aluminum or steel ladder. So that's it! I hope you learned something today. Thank you so much for watching!